All right, weather underground terrorist Bill Ayers was at Kent State giving a keynote talk when he was asked what made him different from the Boston bombers. It is a fair question. Ayers had tried to kill innocent Americans with bombs 40 years ago, just like the jihadists now. But he claims that the Muslim supremacists were nihilistic, while back then he believed in something. But also, Ayers points out, all of his terrorist pals did back then was property damage. Mm. About that property damage. See, during the Kent State talk, Ayers left out how he lost three of his pals. The uh, bombs they were making actually blew their heads off. Yeah, property damage. Those bombs were intended for a dance at the Fort Dix Army Base in New Jersey. Terrible. So the right people died that day, thank God. Ayers wanted to kill innocent people. So the only difference was that the Boston guys were good at what Ayers was bad at. Ayers said it would be, quote, inappropriate to include that in his talk, meaning it would expose him for the scumbag that he is. Mm -hmm. When faced with the horrible immorality of one's actions, he championed relativism by saying, and I quote, the United States is the most violent country that has ever been created. I guess he'd know. And so as authorities struggle to find a place to put the corpse of the Boston bomber, I have one suggestion. Why not in Ayers' living room as a constant reminder of what could have been or maybe what should have been? <laughs> that was biting. That was was it biting? Was, was it biting? Good. I mean, I liked it. I have an answer for your question. Yes, please. What is the difference? What is the difference? Ayers is an atheist, mm. so his was more politically motivated than any religious Mm. You know, mm. observance behind mm. it. But that's a very direct answer. Was he self radicalized? He might have been self radicalized. That, uh, that, expl lone wolf? that explains the earrings. It wasn't, Only it wasn't the earrings. a lone wolf, though. But here's the thing okay, his defense, Dana, is that he, he, the reason why he's not like the Boston bombers is because he was inept. <laughs> like, right. You know, oh, I, what we did is property damage, which is a lie. I don't understand. How can you say that about someone that you were making bombs with? Yes. But they were just his property girlfriend, damage. His girlfriend died. Well, they found their heads in the street. It's amazing that you could have somebody like uh, the guys that are help, that help the the friends that help the Boston bombers. Yeah. You know, 25 years from now, they could be walking around teaching at universities and getting really big speaking fees to say, oh well, you know, it was just property damage. Yeah. But I don't understand. Well, how do we? Why do we put up with this? Yeah. Even in another in in interesting piece of this is Bernadine Dorn, Bill Ayers, and the other mm -hmm. one who was just recently let out. What's yeah, uh, Bodine, uh, Bodine. Uh, yeah, Catherine Bodine. Catherine Bodine. The, they either go away for a while and they come back and they're embraced by the by the academia, the, the mm -hmm. very, very liberal upper echelons of academia, not, not only, uh, but also Ayers and Bernadine Dorn went away for a while. They went right. in hiding for a while. They come back and they pay a, they pay a fine. Yeah. They even do the rest of the time they were supposed to do. They pay a fine and they're let free, and then they're right. Now they're, and they're heroes in the liberal, teaching positions. liberal speaking circuit. Well, liberal I, professors, Bob. Well, what I, what I found most egregious about what he said was when he, he compared this to uh, John McCain. And mm -hmm. he said John McCain yeah. was murdering uh, people in Vietnam. John McCain was a highly decorated Air Force pilot. Or excuse me, it was, I guess he was, was he a Navy pilot? Mm -hmm. Navy. Na Navy pilot. And... Uh, to suggest or equate that uh, with what was going on uh, here in the United States was just uh, outrageous, barbaric, and uh, I think Ayers owes McCain a very serious problem. This is a guy who spent five years as a prisoner of war and having refused to let it be let out when he was offered the, the offer because his father was the head of uh, the, the Navy Pacific Command. So I, I just think that was just a horrible choice. Yeah, there's a the difference between a man and a terrorist. Yeah. Like dumb, dumb question. Why yeah. would um, Kent State embrace errors? Number one, they they had a, a, a film that they released on the whatever the 30, 40 year anniversary right. of the Kent State um, tragedy. But then they embrace a, a speaker like Bill Ayers. I mean, well, uh, I, I, I I understand <laughs> activism, but know, there's uh, there's terrible time in activism. Too, you, as you, well. have to, you have to have been you you were a, a very young child back then. You had to be. Uh, understand how outrageous the government's and the military's reaction was to that protest at Kent State no where they question. indiscriminately fired no, I'm guns not, I'm not at students. Anything that happened and there were four State. of them I'm killed and a number of them were There's injured. a difference, difference between activism and blowing people to bits. Yeah, I think that's a, bad choice. That, that's a bad choice having... Right. Uh, Nobody went to jail and they should have out also, of the National Guard group. There, there were also two armored murder. guards killed when yes. Weather Underground committed a robbery and a cop too, killed he's conveniently by a, forgetting that. A nail bomb. I mean, there was right. a lot of people that were killed. There, there, there Property were damage dead. includes writing case. on the wall. Yeah. A graffiti. Yeah. He actually, lives were lost because yeah. of their actions. And he gets away with saying at Kent yeah. State, 
property damage. Yeah. Would, could, four dead students, it was and terrible. nobody went to jail. It was terrible. Nobody. It, it was yeah. bad. No, there's no no but one I guess, defending Kent State tragedy. We're we're simply, the, I'm simply saying it's a, there's a difference between activism. Yeah. Eric and, is saying and, that it besmirched Kent jihadism. State. It besmirched Kent State, uh, uh, which they were having a symbolic anniversary. They besmirched it by having this dirt bag there to bad talk. choice. And it equates it, it, it equates something that would horrible happen with something done by a horrible where, person. Where, 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 Why would you invite a terrorist to that? Where, where, where were the dirtbag uh, guys who shot these four kids? I don't know. That's not the question we're asking. We're asking why, why was, was this loser there? invited to speak there? Um, can I just throw up one little thing from the LA Times before I go? This is a, a quote from the LA Times about the t uh, uh, Tamerlane's body. What should be done with it? Um, it's uh, officials in this family still don't know where. Uh, what's his face? An ethnic Chechen <laughs> who turned to conservative Islam. Will be buried. So that's the new phrase, people. Yes. Conservative, Conservative Islam. Islam. Watch out put, for put it. In your, put it in your iPhone so you make your, sure yeah. you can use the that's automatic. What, that's how the media He's changes defined. things. Unbelievable. Conservative right. Islam? Yeah, that's ridiculous. We're not allowed to say radical Islam exactly. anymore. No, it's so conservative. conservative. You people are shameless.